Good evening. Uh, welcome to the final uh, sign off from the final night of FOLDA 2020. Um, wow, it's funny to say 2020 because 2020 has been such an intense year so far and it's only June. Uh, my name is Adrian Wong. I'm artistic director of Spiderweb Show Performance and I'm here tonight uh, with the co-curators of FOLDA. I want to do a quick uh, description of myself. I'm wearing kind of a pink collared shirt. I have uh, dark brown hair that's swept off to the side and cut short. I'm half Chinese Canadian, half French Canadian, and if you were to meet me in person I would be small of stature. And I'm going to uh, pass it over here to one of my co-curators co just immediately to my left. Uh, hey, thanks, Adrian. I'm Sarah Garten Stanley, and I'm one of the co-curators. And um, I am a white woman in my early 50s uh, uh, with a hoodie um, that I sport daily. Um, usually a hat, but right now a COVID cut that is uh, about to finally be cut. Um, I just felt like I wanted to let all the hair out before it disappears um, for another bit of time. Um, and that I think is me. Uh, so let me move it over to the uh, third person in the room. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Michael Wheeler. I'm the third co-curator. I'm a very tall white guy uh, in his early 40s and uh, I'm wearing my uh, Raptors jersey because of course this is the one year anniversary of, of the the great championship, and uh, I felt important to represent that today. Um, Mention my so one thing that uh, I want to point out is that I'm here in Banff, Alberta, right now, and Sarah and Michael are not. Uh, the two of them are in Kingston. Uh, Sarah, do you want to talk a little? about how it's possible that we're all together in this foldable room <laughs> tonight. Yeah, sure. Uh, shout out to Frank Donato, who's been doing our backdrops uh, every night and getting us into the room. Uh, CDN Studio was uh, created by Joel, Adria, and myself um, a few years back with the support of Spiderweb Show Performance. And Joel is an, uh, uh, a technologist and a video creator and a um, super smart guy who um, not only uh, had the know-how to figure out how to make this work, but also was able to revive it um, when the pandemic hit and um, make some uh, adjustments and shifts that have made it possible for us to, to bring it back into, into your view. Um, we found it to be really a great space to feel like we're in the same room together. Um, it was developed to um, initially to work uh, for artists to be able to work at a distance and to be able to gather in a, in a shared space and to think about the body and how the body interacts in a shared space. Um, so a tool. Um, and uh, we're finding now doing these talks each night, which have been really great, um, that it's also a terrific space just for people to actually meet and for audiences, I think, to feel like they're getting to see people more in their natural uh, habitats in a way. So uh, yeah, that's CDN Studio. Thanks for asking and uh, thanks for watching it in it each night. Uh, I think we should just take a moment to maybe slide to the side so we can display this uh, this backdrop to its fullest extent because there's some surprises in here. Just gonna slide down. There's some things. Oh, Oh, just empty sky. Not what I was expecting at all. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Surprises. Um, now, listen, before, so this is the, the fourth night that we've gathered this way. This has been an intense day um, of performances, but also, like, yeah, just, again, so much heart. Um, I was watching my screen with my hands up to my face because, I just was feeling so much emotion uh, in all of the shows and different, like different emotions, different ways. Um, Michael, like, what's your, like, what's, what's the thing that's kind of at the top of your, your brain right now after watching this whole night? Oh gosh, I'll be honest. I'm so proud of our, or like our tech team. Like, I don't understand. We, we, we have a theater company that turned into a 
geographically distributed television station. Uh, and uh, and <laughs> that's pretty wild, man. And so right now I'm just kind of in awe of all the people who know how to do things, who know how to do who made this happen. How about you, Sarah? Yeah, thanks. I uh, I guess I want to say that um, uh, I feel like uh, our technicians have become real artists of the now, and they've met artists of the now and created something truly magnificent. And um, while I take Mike's um, suggestion of kind of a t TV studio at a distance, uh, I still revel at two things, and I'm mean, at two things. One is that everyone, pretty much technician and artist, has been in their own segregated space and somehow managed to bring this story together into a shared space, um, which has been remarkable for so many reasons and such an incredibly vital, enlivening response to what we've all been um, trying to understand with the pandemic. and. So that we were able to bring this digital space to real theater tonight uh, to be able to watch. I'm, I'm very emotional about uh, watching Isque in such proximity to those players and to hear a sound that was made in a space that we were all here in our own separate spaces. Uh, very moving. I mean, incredible performance, just unbelievable. But that we were able all together to, to do that, I am truly in awe of. So when Mike talks about the tech team, 100% artists. And um, yeah, there's a real crossover that's happening in this moment, which I'm so thrilled by. You know, it's funny, I, I feel like, I feel in a strange, well, I feel like the audience gets more out of this, like, mode of transmission, um, it, that it's unfairly weighted towards the audience, because as audience members, we could kind of gather on Zoom, or we're chatting with each other, and there is that kind of sense of, of being together. But I felt really conscious, especially with Isque as, as a musician, and and because I guess because there's songs and that at the end of the song, if you're there with her, you just be like shouting and cheering and clapping. And I felt the impulse to clap at home. So I feel satisfied with that gesture. I don't get all of the sound feedback of my fellow concert goers, but I was so conscious of the, the those four musicians being in a black space by themselves and not getting that back from us back from us in the audience and and uh i feel like that's the next i don't know that's just my dream of the next cdn studio is a way of like throw love back in some mm. way i don't i don't know but how do we how do we complete the circle right because that's the that's the tr like the moment that it transcends is when it, this the circle closes and we are there together and i felt like we're almost there we're halfway there or three even three quarters there but the the feedback loop back to the performers is not there yet and i missed it i really felt it not being there yeah um okay you know, that was, when we made a play using this technology that we're on right now and we had performers that were across the country they gave us that same feedback. <clears throat> and so actually one of the hacks that they did was uh, we set up um, a Google, I think that was before Zoom, so it was like Google Hangouts, I think, and uh, just so they could see the audience uh, from time to time. And they could get re real-time feedback from that audience because they couldn't have two streams opening and feedback and all sorts of stuff like that. But just so that um, they could like see the house come in and understand like who is in the house even was very helpful. That makes a lot of sense. I think um, I think we should uh, thank, we have a bunch of people we wanna thank tonight, people and organizations uh, who made it possible for Folda to, to exist, um, who came with us on a really uh, intense journey uh, as we've all been on an intense journey since uh, the pandemic shut down our, 
our theaters. So we want to thank these folks for um, support, shifted the focus of the festival from being in live, in person, live in Kingston to being uh, in computers live across uh, Canada and beyond. So I'm going to start here talking about our funders and I'm going to uh, talk Department of Canadian Heritage, the Canada Council for the Arts, the Ontario Arts Council, Celebrate Ontario, and the City of Kingston Art Fund. Thank you. Uh, our partners on this festival are including the National Arts Centre, HowlRound, Fix Point, the Banff Centre for Arts and Creativity, Queen's University, two departments, the Dance School of Drama and Music, and the Department of Film and Media, the Isabel Bader Centre for Performing Arts and Trisha Baldwin, Plank, the National Theatre School, New World Theatre, and Theatre Centre. And that uh, brings it to me with the tech team. Uh, which, uh, I just saw was dubbed the artist of the now, and it's true. So uh, Martin Jones, who has been Command Central and made unbelievable magic happen. Um, Charles Ketchaba, the uh, live stream director, Jesse McMillan, our technical director, Andrea Lundy, our production manager, Ellen Brooker, uh, and Rachel Shane, two of our technical um, assistants and associates, and Frank Donato, who brought, the, um, uh, brought this CDN studio room forward to us. I want to give a big thanks to our communications team, Christine Echampong and Steph Brown. Thank you. Also, big shout out to our development intern, Deborah Maitland. And the access team, uh, Clayton Baraniak and the electric company, and Carmel Barrow and Kat Germain. I don't know if you got to check it out, but there was some really uh, wonderful access and uh, and artistic um, sort of movements forward with uh, Talk To Me and uh, just some awesome stuff. So shout out to Clayton and, and crew. Thank you. Absolutely. And to our access partners, Inside Out Theater and Deaf Spectrum. Uh, and as this I mentioned to Joel, to Joel Adria for uh, CDN Studio. Uh, last but not least, big shout out to Mariah Horner and Madison Limer. Thank you, thank you for holding this all together. We really, really, really appreciate it. Absolutely. And with that, a sign out of Folder 2020, and we hope, uh, well, hey, we have one last workshop that never ends. Next week, we'll be having a startup workshop featuring Live Labs, which is uh, like Zoom, not even 2.0, but 3.0, anyhow check it out and uh we'll see you in 2021 um thank you